Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new week, which means we've got lots to cover right here at Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. Now, interesting enough, there's nothing actually new this week that we'll be covering. We're going to go pick up a whole bunch of stuff that has been released over the past week. So, new to this channel, been out in the shelves for, for a bit. Um, so, these kind of fell through the cracks, and well, I apologize for that, but we are definitely going to go and review these. We got Plain Jane and the Mermaid. Sounds like a pretty interesting one. And Jane is incredibly plain. Everyone says so. Her parents, the villagers, and her horrible cousin, who kicks her out of her own house. Determined to get some semblance of independence, Jane prepares to propose to the princely Peter, who might just say yes to get away from his father. It's a good plan. Or it would have been if he wasn't kidnapped by a mermaid. Sounds kind of a nice flip on the uh, rescue person trope, so should be fine. We got po Botanica Drama. Uh, this looks kind of interesting. I mean, not kind of. It actually looks interesting. Uh, after rising day after day for billions of years, the sun, recovering from a bit too much celestial partying the night before, makes a fateful decision to stay in bed. With the earth plunged into darkness, everyone from Philomene, the flower, to death itself face dire consequences, trapped in an everlasting winter and surrounded by mysterious creatures that have emerged from the shadows. Can anything make the sun shine again? It sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This sounds pretty, pretty great. Uh, this came out previous week. We got Always Anthony. Uh, what's interesting is there's like a whole bunch of graphic novels on this line. They're in this line. There's Invisible Emmy, Positively Izzy, Just Jamie, Becoming Brianna. All kind of sounds pretty cool. Uh, so this is uh, from Friends Bullies Middle School. Anthony is the or too popular for words. Leah is a shy nerd. What could they have in common? A lot, it turns out. Then one day, they witness Anthony's teammates bullying a sixth grader. What happens next could cement their friendship or blow it up forever. Get some more school drama. Uh, and this one I've had for a while. But I figure it's, it's Jewish Heritage Month, and it's going to be a really great time to cover this. We have the Jewish Women in Comics, Bodies, and Borders. It's a lot of essays about some of the amazing women that have... Uh, influenced and part of the comic industry. Uh, I think we're going to do something a little bit different than instead of a review of this, we're going to go chapter by chapter and highlight some of the awesome women within and some of the things I learned. Uh, so this is really cool. Been out for a while and I think just a perfect opportunity to uh, highlight it and, and talk a bit about it. So uh, it's going to be a fun, interesting week. Stay tuned right here at GPTV. But of course, this is everything we're going to be covering. We've got lots and lots more. So uh, make sure to tune in and watch. And of course, we got lots going on on the site every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.